What's going on, everybody? Welcome back down the Barbarian Bar. We are looking at a tool organizer. This is from 1791 EDC. If you're an EDC enthusiast like myself and uh, an outdoor kind of person or a tradesman, I'm going to go over some items that can fit inside this organizer and uh, just kind of talk about it in the fit and finish and uh, just kind of how I feel about it. Uh, if you want to take this duck hunting, you can uh, put a duck call inside there. Yes, yes, there's a duck call in there. All jokes aside, you could use that for that. Of course, though, multi-tools. I'll show you how many fit and how well they fit. Flashlights and knives. We'll kind of go over all that kind of stuff that fit well inside this organizer. We're introducing the 1791 EDC Heavy Duty Action Strap with large flex loops and tool organizer. Like I said, this is for large and extra large multi-tools. Designed for the tradesman and everyday carry enthusiast. Crafted from full grain American leather. Oh, it smells so good too. It smells like a saddle shop if you've ever been in around uh, horses or anything like that. Oh, it smells so good. It reminds me of grandpa and grandma, that's for sure. I kind of want to talk about a few features about this. I like that it is easy to take on and off. You just take these snaps, pop them loose, and slides right off. Easy as can be. And it has a little spot for your keys if you like to hold your keys out there. Um, I've got a lot of stuff on my keys, of course, so... Uh, maybe, uh, maybe somebody's a little bit more minimal. Otherwise you're going to feel like the janitor walking around with that. <laughs> this is for the large or extra large tools. So I want to grab a few of my larger multi tools. I got a lot of tools and, uh, these are the ones that I'm going to carry most of the time. So I want to bring those out here, bigger flashlights that I'm going to carry that will go in there and, some um, larger knives that will go in there as well. So let's just kind of take a look here. We'll kind of build this up together. And so let me get these all out of the way here. All right. So starting out here, let's just kind of build this out how I would like to be carrying it. Let's go ahead and put the Umnanzan from Chris Reeb Knives. Put that right in there. All right. And the flashlight, I'm going to go with a titanium one here. This is the Ace Beam. This is the RX. 2.0 the rider that'll fit right here perfectly perfect okay and the multi-tool i've got to decide here um i was thinking the leatherman would be good but i really enjoy a one-handed there we go multi-tool so i'm gonna go with this one for now that'll look good in there because it's black slide that in there all right these are three items that I carry around quite a bit. As a tradesman, as a tradesman, I should say, you're probably carrying the very similar items. And one thing I do think is really kind of cool. So if you really feel this out, you got the loop there in case things get too heavy. You need a little more than just the outside. That's pretty cool. It is a very nice heavy duty. Like the first thing I will say I notice is the leather is very thick. It's not uh, not flimsy by no means. The stitching is on point. Looks like definitely some heavy duty stitching for sure. And I've got a lot of weight on here. I've got, gosh, let's just out of curiosity. How much does that weigh? With the Umlanzan, the flashlight, a multi-tool. This is, this is probably going to weigh a little bit. So it's good that it has this extra strap on here. Um, oh, about a pound 0.3. You guys see that here. Pretty good. Pretty good weight on there. You don't want to carry all that in your pockets. So you want to carry it on the hip, you're going to need a little added support. So this is definitely going to take the stuff out of your pocket and put it on your hip and uh, free up the space maybe for your phone or other items as well. Um, you can see if you don't like that loop for the keys dangling, you can actually pull that up like that and snap it right into place. So if you do want to use that at a later time, pull it out, drop her down. This does come in other colors as well. It comes in the black, it comes in the burgundy, and also it is a chestnut option as well. Let's go ahead and fill this out again so I can show you other items that do fit in here. So we showed you fix a flashlight, a big knife. The Umnanzan is no slouch. That is a big knife for sure. And uh, the Gerber. You may say, oh, that Gerber, eh, it's not very big. I carry a bigger multi-tool. So let's see what else fits in here. Rock tall. This is a large multi-tool. It's got some got some hefty to it. This is one that's got a hammer on it. Um, 
big pliers. It's a bigger tool you may not want to put in the pocket. Let's just take a look here. Slide it in here. Oh, yeah. It fits great. And let's grab a bigger flashlight. This is the Wubin T4. One of my bigger favorite flashlights. When I say bigger, I mean, obviously, it's not like a truck flashlight. This is a EDC or one you're going to carry with you. So you put this one in there. Oh, yeah. It's great. And uh, let's grab a knife here. Uh, here's another bigger knife. This is the Benchmade Grizzly Ridge. And see that slide in there? Oh, yeah. And there you go. Ooh, I can put that in further. Got a deep carry pocket. Clip. There we go. Oh, yeah. I think it fits in there tight and snug and secure. There's another loadout here with larger items. That's pretty cool. This one's a little snug, and it's not because of this. It's because of the uh, the grip that's on this knife, so it is a little harder to slide in and out. What else we got here? Let's do the Baton 3 from Olight. This is a larger EDC flashlight. Oh, yeah, like a glove that slides in there so good. And let's grab the, the whole Deca. This is a original goat scale. This one's actually exclusive from the blade binge. So this is actually a larger Hulk Deca. Put that in there. Oh yeah, fits well. And a multi-tool. Now let's, let's go to the Leatherman. This is the Leatherman signal. Unlock it here. And this is a more of a bushcraft or I would say a work knife, but more of a, a bushcraft multi-tool. Got some size on it. Not a whole, whole lot of size, but a good size here. Lock that back up here. It does have a pocket clip. Let's see what this one looks like inside here. Oh, yeah. Like a glove. There we go. That is so good. And another loadout. So these are, these are larger items. These items that I'm putting in here are not small items. And they all fit perfectly in here. Um, you know, this is for large and extra large. And maybe you opt for the larger one. Let's just take a look what small tools look like inside here as well. So maybe you like this when you opt into it and you think, well, hey, let's see what some small tools fit in there. Let's go with the old light here. This is the I3T. Slide that in there. And here's the SOG Power Pint, one of my favorite everyday carry tools. Slide that in there. And you, what you can do is slide it in there so it gets that extra uh, second loop. Get that pocket clip to fit right in there. Get that nice and deep in there. And then we've got the Vasteed Raccoon Cub. Just a little guy. Put that in here. And there you go. Now you've got a loadout for smaller items as well. It looks like you got a little extra room here. You know, we could probably put a pen or a marker. All right, we're sticking with small things here. Here is a Right in the Rain. This is from Paca Pens. Let's slide that in there. There we go. Now you got a pen, a flashlight, multi-tool, and a knife all on there. And they all fit nice and secure. And they're almost seamlessly gone. You can hardly see them in there at all. That's pretty sweet. Throw that on the belt. Just as easy as this. So if you go over their website, they got quite a few other items here as well. Um, if you don't want a large, you know, big organizer like this, they got small ones. They got some easy solo snap medium. So if you want one just for your multi-tool. So there's other items on here as well. If you guys like items like this here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. There will be more videos on this one as a long-term review goes. So make sure to stop back and check that out here. And as always, guys, make sure your coffee is stronger than your Tyler. Have a great one, everybody.